Welcome back to Moby's Kitchen. And today, I should say this morning, we're gonna be making a breakfast burrito. A little bit different though. So here's our ingredients, let me show you. We're gonna use some Greek yogurt in place of sour cream, but you could use sour cream here. We're just trying to make it a slight bit more healthy. Uh, and then we're gonna use some tapatio. Kimber's already crying for breakfast or lunch back there. Uh, then we have some frozen tater tots because who wants to make tater tots from scratch? We're gonna be using, here's the difference here. We're gonna be using some diced pancetta on this one because we had this from another recipe and I thought, hey, let's let's try this in a breakfast burrito. Usually I use bacon here and I love chorizo as well, which I'll make another breakfast burrito down the road with all that. Uh, we're gonna need three eggs. I'm making one good size breakfast burrito. I've got about a cup, three quarters of a cup to a cup of shredded Colby Jack. You could use your favorite cheese here. And then I've also got some, some crumbled, uh, Mexican cheese here. Queso fresco. Queso fresco. Thank you, Bobby. I, I couldn't remember the name. And then we've got some finely diced red onion. Uh, then I love this La Victoria taco sauce. I like the hot usually, but we had the medium, so we're going to go with that. We've got kosher salt, black pepper. We've got some milk to mix our scrambled eggs. And then, of course, we have our tortillas. You want a good size burrito size tortilla. I would say even bigger than this, but this is the biggest we had in the pantry, so we're going to go with it today. So let me get everything ready to go and, and we'll uh, move on to the next step. Okay, so first we're gonna scramble some eggs. So I broke the first two eggs in here. Let's get the third egg in there. You can use as, met, as little or as many eggs as you want here. Little splash of milk, maybe, I don't know, a quarter to a half a cup there. Break your yolks and then beat your eggs here so they're ready to go when we, they go in, into the pan here. And you know, I, I don't go too crazy with the bee. I, I like to leave a little bit of the yellow sort of streaks in it. I think it adds some good flavor. So you don't have to like finely beat this. So that, that'll, that'll do the trick right there. Now let's head over to the stove and get everything cooking. Remember, preheat your pan for about three or four minutes on medium heat for this one. So that's going behind me. Okay, we're over at the stove. We've got our preheated pan here. It's been going for about three minutes on medium. And you know, a couple of ingredients I forgot to mention is some avocado oil and a little bit of butter, maybe two tablespoons of butter, a tablespoon of butter, uh, just for a little bit later here. So we're gonna put just a, maybe a tablespoon of oil in the pan here. Swirl it around, this just will help. I mean, this is a non-stick pan and it does the trick, but I like the flavor that the oil brings to the party here. Then we're gonna add in our pancetta. Make sure we get it all out of there. Keep going. So as you see, the fat will render out of the pancetta and we're gonna use that. I'm gonna go ahead and add our onion at this point. Screw that in. This shouldn't take too long to cook. These little dice pieces of pan will get nice and crispy. They'll render the fat. And then what we're gonna do is take them out of the pan and use that rendered fat to fry off our tater top. So let's let this go for about four or five minutes and see what it looks like. Okay, so our pancetta has been frying away for about five minutes here. It's nice and crispy. It's rendered a lot of fat here. We're gonna take this out with a slotted spoon because we wanna keep a lot of that fat in the actual pan because we're gonna use that to cook our tater tots. Let's get all this out of here for now. And I'll be right back with you. We'll get the tater tots going. Okay, we're gonna add just a, a about another tablespoon of the avocado oil. This will help uh, everything kind of not burn too fast here because we're gonna also add maybe about a half a tablespoon of some unsalted butter here. Get this all rolled around the pan. This will help brown those tater tots perfectly. Now tater tots are tricky, so we're gonna put them in frozen and we don't wanna to touch them for the first uh, couple minutes because we don't want them to fall apart too much. They are gonna go in the burrito, so it's not critical that they're like perfect form. But let's see here. And be careful doing this because they are frozen, they have water mixing with oil, so just go slow. Get your pan tempered here. All right, so we're just gonna let those fry away for a little bit and I'll be back with you when we kind of flip them over or roll them. Okay, so we've been frying our tater tots here for about three minutes. Let's shake the pan, see how, if any of them are just loose by themselves. 
We don't want to see they kind of will tear sometimes. You have to be very careful to kind of scrape the ones that don't. And like I said, if they tear a little bit, it's no big deal. They're going inside the burrito. So they don't have to be the prettiest tater tots ever. You want to get them rolled around. You can see they're brown, browned up nice and crispy. And we're going to kind of get them going on the opposite side now. There we go. Let's let this go for a couple more minutes. See how they look. Okay, so our tater tots are done. We put probably cooked them another two or three minutes after we rolled them around and flipped them. So we can get rid of these. Put them on a paper towel. Still save a little bit of that uh, bake, that pancetta grease that's left behind. And then while these are kind of hot, we want to get a little bit of salt on them. Not much. The pancetta has salt. Cheese has salt. Just a tad bit of salt, and I like pepper on mine too. You don't have to do this step. A little bit of pepper as well. All right, those are ready to go. So next up, we're gonna get our eggs going. So remember we did just a light beat to them, so there, there's a little bit of yolk you can see still. So we're gonna put that in. Let's lower our heat actually first. We're gonna put it down to maybe medium low heat because our pan's pretty hot still, so we don't want the eggs to cook too, too fast, but we like fluffy eggs. Okay. <clears throat> and you want to just keep these moving. And um, as we're cooking these, we're going to add our pancetta and onion mixture back in here. any of that beautiful pancetta, huh? Okay. Stir this all in so it's incorporated nicely throughout the eggs. All right, and just kind of slowly cook these so your eggs are scrambled and cooked through. I'll be right back with you when that's done. Okay, while we're cooking the eggs, I just decided to put a little bit of butter for creaminess in here. So we've got about, this is about a tablespoon of butter here for the three eggs and the milk. This will add some nice, uh, some nice richness and creaminess. You don't have to do this step. I just think it'll be really good flavor here. We'll keep cooking away with our eggs here, and we'll be done soon. Okay, so our eggs are almost done scrambled, uh, scrambling cooking here, and um, we're gonna add in some cheese that we talked about. I like mine nice and cheesy, but once again, you can add as much or as little or no cheese. Whatever you like. Help this get melted into the egg and pancetta mixture here. And we're gonna go for another minute or so till the cheese is all melted. All right, our eggs and cheese mixture are finishing up, so we're gonna heat up a tortilla on our gas stove here. I'm gonna do about medium low heat here and just put your tortilla right over the burner. Now you can use tongs to flip this. I've showed you this before on the channel. I just use my hands and I'm just real careful. Uh, we wanna just kind of release some of the oils in that tortilla so it folds up better. And then we're actually gonna finish it in the pan uh, once we get it all put together. But this will help fold it, kind of loosen up the oils. You just kind of flip it a few times until you get, uh, you don't need to get it like super crispy in this stage here because we're gonna put it back in the pan here to finish it off. Okay, so here's our first step of building our burrito here. We're gonna add a layer of the tater tots here. Remember to kind of keep it away from the edges. It'll make it a lot easier for folding. And then we're going to add, sorry, I'm kind of blocking the camera here. We're gonna add our egg, cheese, and pancetta mixture, as much as you like here. All right. And then we're gonna finish with a little bit of tater tot action here too. And then I'm gonna take you right over here for a minute and I'm gonna show you what else I put inside here. Okay, so we're gonna start with our La Victoria taco sauce. You can put your favorite taco sauce here or none at all, once again, salsa, you can do whatever you want. A little bit of this. And then you're gonna do a little bit of the Greek yogurt. You could do, once again do sour cream here too if you prefer or leave this out too. I like a little, it adds a little, little creaminess to it, I, I like it. 
All right, and then what we're gonna do is fold this up and we're gonna bring it back to the actual pan. We're gonna clean that pan out, wipe it out a little bit. And then we're going to kind of finish by crisping this up a little bit here. I'm not the greatest burrito roller, but I think I'll get the job done here good enough. All right, we'll be right back with you at the stove. Okay, so I've wiped out our pan a little bit here and I'm gonna add another maybe tablespoon of avocado oil. Let's get this pan, we're on medium heat once again. Let's roll this around a little bit. And what we're gonna do is get our burrito and we're gonna put this, the fold side down. So see the seal there? We're gonna put that fold side down here first. And our pan probably should be a little hotter than this, but it's okay. We're gonna just let it go um, until we get a nice little golden brown vibe on the other side. Then we'll roll it over and do it on the, on the other side as well. So we'll be right back with you. Okay, so this is going about two or three minutes here on uh, our seam side down. So let's flip it and get the other side. That's perfect. That's the golden brown we want. That helps kind of seam it up here and, and cinch it up so it doesn't leak quite as much. So we're gonna do about the same thing on this side, about another minute or two on that side, because the pan does get hotter as it goes. So it usually doesn't take as long on the second flip. Okay, so our burrito is done. Our beautiful breakfast burrito, you can hear it. It's got some crisp on top. We're gonna cut this in half, take a look at the inside. I like to do maybe an angle cut with this. What do you think, Bobby, angle cut? Looks better. Oh, look at that. How delicious does that look? Let's uh, pause for a minute. We'll take a picture for our thumbnail and I'll be right back with you. All right, it's my favorite part of the video. It is taste test time. And we're gonna take a bite of this beautiful breakfast burrito here. Here's where the tapatio comes in. If you've never had tapatio, it's delicious. It's a nice little spicy hot sauce. Um, if you don't love spicy, you're probably not gonna love this, but I think the flavor of this one is delicious, especially with a breakfast burrito. So you put a little bit on there, that first bite. Mm. There's just something great about a good breakfast burrito. You could add anything in here with the eggs. You could do a different kind of meat. You could do ham, you could do bacon, you could do chorizo, which is one of my favorites. You could also add some avocado if you want on top or inside, however you want to build it, be creative with it. This is the first time I've used pancetta and it's amazing. It tastes like a combination of bacon, like smoked bacon and uh, ham. So it has that kind of vibe and Bobby tried the mixture earlier and she said the same thing. So it's really good. It's creamy with that cheese and um, make this at home. This is super easy to make. You can make it for a lot of people. Just have, maybe have the kids get involved and roll the burritos with you. It's super fun. So thanks for stopping by Moby's Kitchen. Like and subscribe. Give us some comments. What do you think of the video so far? What do you what do you like about them? What do you dislike? Any ideas on what we should make in the future? I've got a ton of ideas, but maybe you've got something that I've never tried before and I'd love to make it. So once again, thanks for stopping by and uh, we'll see you on the next episode.